our crazy Honda night last night. We are starting today out here at legendary Honda shop, Jay's Racing. It is an absolute honor to be touring Jay's Racing. I've owned a lot of Hondas. Mugen Civic Si had header, exhaust, everything. And my S2000 before we did the spoon build also had the Jay's Racing header and the Jay's Racing exhaust. So to be here actually in Japan, this is awesome. And getting to see all the legendary uh, Jay's Racing cars such as their Toge legend, the Jay's Racing S2000. Jay's Racing's first S2000 to get a Toge Monster, you know, mm -hmm. this was the Toge Monster winner. But apparently they made two of them. Oh really? This is one of them. Oh. There's another one that's running currently around like a Gunsai and like all these Toge stuff. There's another one that is parked in a somewhere different location. I see. But still, this is a real Toge Legend car. Is this yeah. Okay, is this the one that was actually like in the... The, the first initial uh, Toge Monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. This looks so good. It's one of their... Dude, demo my, I want another Type R so bad. So bad. You well, come and on, then, man. This, this doesn't help my addiction. Dude, new one will come out eventually. I know, I know. I kind of want to want to wait till the new one. But this has the full Jay's Racing arrow. Look at the Jay's Racing front lip on this thing. I don't want to scrape it, you know. I know. It's, it looks expensive. I, I'm gonna, I think it's expensive. I'm gonna geek out completely on the Type R. You guys know how much I love my Type R. How much I want another one, and to see the actual Jay's Racing demo Type R is and actually right crazy. Jay's Racing front arrow up here. This lip is actually just crazy. The front end of this car, the, the J's front end for the FK8 is just absolutely nuts. The hood, then the front grill fascia, ultimate ultimate goals. That's pretty sick. So why did uh, why did Jay's choose the S2000? Uh, it's a kind of old tree. Just made Jay's race over 20 years ago. Hmm. So I was only junior high student. So <laughs> I don't know exactly, but. Uh -huh. uh, I heard we start the race with uh, Civic and DC2 uh, Integra and uh, they won the race but uh, when the Honda uh, make S2000 they bought it and he found a great point and great fun in this S2000 so uh, they built a lot of parts and uh, he tried to make his uh, own dream S2000 and still continue. Right, so so he basically turned his dream S2000 yeah. into yeah. The, the Toge legend. Yeah, yeah. So basically, all the parts that Jay's makes mm -hmm. has driver focus in mind and, and yeah. Toge driving in mind. Does, uh, does Jay's do much circuit or strictly Toge? Uh, both. Both? Yeah. So, uh, circuit is very important for us, like uh, uh, Super Taiki race. Hi. Uh, we joined that race with uh, Honda Fit, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, some country called Jazz. Yeah. Oh, cool, 1.5 cool. liter NA and kind of one big race and a Super Taiki race. Ah. Uh, Toge is S2000. Hi. Yeah, hot it's version. Hot version. Yeah. Yeah. As an S2000 owner, Alba, what do you think, man? It's it's so cool to see how so many tuners really, really took the S2000 as far as it could be built and, like but, 20 years ago. Yeah, but the thing about it is that they're all so different. Like, I've only ever viewed Spoon for, for Honda parts right. and, and my S2000, so seeing 
on the other end of the spectrum as far as like a toge monster, whereas Spoon's kind of like meticulous and like built for circuit driving specifically. Yeah. This is like all out. Yeah, you know? you're exactly right. Like Spoon is like kind of super tight cube focused and then like the Maho uh, Jace Racing S2000 is like literally like the toge monster. And that's that really shows how Toge is such an integral part of Japanese motorsports that they build an entire car, entire platform around, Based around attacking it, yeah. that specific type of course. It's so cool. I mean, like this is like it's one amazing. Of the most legendary, you know. S it's cool to see it in person. It's it, it really is. Like see so many videos online, Hot Persian, Toge battles yeah. with Suchian, yeah. uh, all the other drivers to see this car. Like this is such a legendary car. And it's it, like it's real. And it's this is the one this that was in the videos. Yeah. You know? So it's like you watch those videos when you're a kid. I mean how old were when we were watching those videos? Like, like that 15, was like dude. 15 years yeah. ago, right? You know like the first like iterations of the Toge Monster you yeah. know, battleship yeah. battle? Yeah. Where this car fight with the uh Amuse the yeah. orange uh -huh, uh -huh. This exact yeah. car uh -huh. was uh -huh. in there. Uh -huh. This exact car was fighting with Amuse. Wow. That's amazing. That's the one in the that Toge video where the, hey! the yellow one is sliding. Hey! Right? This exact car. Oh my god. Yeah. That's, That's amazing. That's a legendary clip. Everyone always tags me in that yeah. clip on Instagram. It's amazing, yeah. This exact car was fighting with the Muse S2000, the <laughs> orange one. Easy. And he yeah. beat it. Checking out the interior of FK8 demo car. Absolutely sick, guys. All the little Jays racing goodies, the carbon cluster cover, the floor mats. You look in the center right here. Add the Indio 189 tires. And not only that, the new one, if you see the new one, you're gonna want a new one, man. Yeah. This one is just so good, though. When I get another Type R. Jay's racing type R. What is what is Waza? Waza means it's difficult to translate, but Waza means like technique, skill. Ah, oh, oh, so yeah. if you're wondering what we're talking about when we say Waza, look at this. So Jay's racing, feel, reveal, Waza, energy, satisfaction. So he's saying Waza is kind of like your skill if you're driving. Uh, technique and skill with the culture and soul, everything. That's, That's why we not translate to technique and skill. We call waza. Oh, lots so, of meaning, lots of meaning. So it's the technique, the technique behind culture. Yeah. So the culture that you're in, that specific technique yeah. is waza. That's born from that culture. So yeah. nice. and I know you, you weren't recording, but like he was drawing the, the like this connection between like samurai and how samurai made swords ah. and how that technique was born from that culture and yeah, so that's kind of the same philosophy. That's yeah. so sad. Yeah, that that's so good. So good. That's. Here we go. We're gonna get some coffee. We're all exhausted. We gotta do it. This the is the job. This is the this is the JDM rock paper scissors. Explain it to me here. So we're gonna. So the how it works is, sai show wa gu and you show your rock. Okay. That means you show your rock, you show your rock <laughs> uh -huh. arm and hand uh -huh. and then. And when you say jam can and pawn, you give your move. Okay. You, you show your move. So whoever loses has to buy coffee. Yeah, yeah. for everyone. Here we go. Sai show gu. Jump okay, we gotta go again yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's all it's yeah. all. And then whenever we no there's no whip no contest, so we just say I go the show. I go the show. I go the show. Oh okay. But sorry, I don't have thousand yen right now. I only have like Oh five. my god, so we gotta pay for it anyways, dude. Here you go. 
go. Thank you, sir. And here you go. Thank you. Comply to a freaking great boys trip and my travels to Japan, guys. Oh. Getting an indoor shop tour of Jay's Racing. It's always my favorite when we get to tour the shops, not only on the exterior, but on the interior, because all the small, cool bits that they have. Oh, look, here's a really cool photo of the S2000's art as far as like a toge livery, like the toge monster livery. All right. So, oh, shit. and it's a calendar, actually. Yeah. But yeah, look at all the cool stuff that they have in here, just random bits throughout the shops. Look, look at these trophies. trophies everything. This is the actual hot version toge trophy that we were talking about earlier, right, Masa? Mm -hmm. This is the actual car, and the toge trophy is back here. Just the culture and like the history behind race racing, it's, it's so, so cool. And of course, when I come here, I always love to stack up on small little bits from these awesome shops that are surprisingly hard to get in the States, but gonna get some badging, a lot of little stickers here, just for a collection, not necessarily that I, I use too much, but as far as like collection pieces for just me personally, I love to get a bunch of small little things. So we're gonna get a couple of those, get an oil cap, and even a shift knob. And this is probably one of the sickest hats I've ever seen, so I'm gonna get one of these. Yeah, kind of kind of went all out here. Yeah. Well, when in when in Japan? When in Japan, dude. Cause I got to go to Thank you. Thank you for coming. Oh. All set. <laughs> this was uh this was amazing. Thank you so much for your hospitality and letting us in the shop and view everything. This was a uh, definitely bucket list item. 100%. That was amazing. Yeah, just easy work. Uh injury a car life. Bye-bye. That dude. was so nice. Amazing, dude. And Kaz was so nice and generous to let us go, like, see everything. And he showed us, like, he, sh he started a demo car for us. He even, you know, showed up inside. And one of the coolest shop tours we've ever done. But we're not done for today. Next up, we have uh, Kanzai Service. I'm sure you guys are familiar with too, but there's a specific part that we need from Kanzai Service for the Attack 32. Tim made it my mission to find this. Tim is currently back in the States working on the Attack 32. Getting it ready for the circuit because we have a race coming up as soon as I get back. Literally the day that I get back to America, we fly out again and we have our first competition, uh, which is gonna be Grid Life in Michigan. And Tim is currently getting the Attack 32 ready for that. We need a front tow hook. He told me to order online for the Kanzai Service tow hook. He doesn't know that I'm actually traveling to Kanzai Service, the actual shop in Japan. So it's gonna be really cool when I show him that, that I actually went in person instead of ordering it online. Went in person to get this from Kanzai Service. Continuing on our journey to Kanzai Service, we are leaving, we were leaving Osaka, which is where Jay's Racing was. And Kanzai service is actually in the middle of the mountains uh, in this area, in a prefecture called Nara. It's very outskirts, like literally middle of the ravine. Like GTRs are there. I see like tons. This of is GTRs. Amazing. Dude, I didn't know Kansai service was this big. And it's pretty big. Alright. We're gonna head inside and see how much we can actually get of this. We have made it here to Kanzai Service. You guys do not know what Kanzai Service is. They are, used to be closely related with HKS. They were primarily the biggest, would you say the biggest HKS distributor in the Kanzai region, yes. hence Kanzai Service, which is very, very cool. And they also really do specialize in GTRs. So these are all customer cars. 
we'll give you guys a, a quick walkthrough of the customer cars. We can't show too much in depth, but this is also a very legendary GTR shop uh, to be able to come and visit. Also, nowadays they specialize in, in a lot of different cars. You can see we have a GR Yaris, we have a brand new 86 and R35 GTR. So we're here getting a tow hook for the Attack 32. Well, let's check out some customer cars here. R35 GTR. This is a Kanzai widebody? Mm-hmm. So nice, dude. Look at this hood. What hood is this? It's a top secret. Ah, uh, very Looks like sick. a top secret. Yeah. Nismo right here. Oh, a black R34. LMG T4 is on this 32 right here. Oh, look at this one. Massive Brembo big brake kit. Is this a top secret hood as well? Take a look right here. I love the Nismo LMG Ts, dude. I need a set. GT4 is a carbon fiber front lip. It's got a full lip kit, actually. I really like these side skirts. Crazy rear diffuser. Looks like a top secret. Wow. Getting a look inside the Kanzai Service R35 here. Wow. Carbon fiber buckets in this too. Kanzai service showroom here and they have carbon one piece drive shaft in stock. So this is a really great piece for the Attack 32 because the stock drive shaft comes in two pieces and this one is single piece carbon 40% lighter than stock which is actually pretty crazy. Imagine taking this on the plane. <laughs> it's this <laughs> How long do you think it takes the average person to take off one tape and thread in a new one? Before we go any further, we actually get a ride in the Kanzai Surface Demo R35 GTR. How is this even real life right now? One of the techs here is gonna drive me in a demo car. This thing is absolutely sick. Super pumped. Dude. Oh, this thing is so clean. Can I sit in the back? Sure. And these carbon back seats too, dude. This is, uh, I think, our same seat as R35 Nismo. That is so cool that they actually call it uh, circuit attack counter. So that's how they monitor their times on their circuits and stuff. So whereas most people in the US use maybe the Garmin like I have or like the AIM Solo, something like that, uh, HKS makes a circuit, a circuit attack counter for Japan. That's really awesome. So is Suzuka their main circuit? Oh. Hi, hi, hi. Suzuka is their main circuit that they, they, they test on. Uh, scuba circuit to... He never, he didn't, he didn't go to the scuba. Mm, so just Suzuka. Oh, okay. uh, bigger track, like Fuji. Hi, 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 so that's so Fuji! I got the buzz on my stuff. That was awesome. Tow hook secured. This is going to be super awesome. And we got some, some stickers here. What are you doing? We did it. We got everything we needed. Good to go. Thank you. Oh, here you go. <laughs> All right, let's get some food. I'm starving. Okay. <laughs> what? What great people. I know, right? Kansai is awesome, man. Dude. Kansai people are really warm. Yes, this is amazing, dude. If you guys don't know, that was Bukai-san, the owner of Kansai Service. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's a little he's a little he's legend, a legend, like uh, Uchinaga-san. He's, he's a little a, legend. He's a legend, dude. So I was just casually meeting him and taking pictures. And he, he, what a day. And he offered us for pictures. Yeah, we didn't offer that. What a weekend. <laughs> 
<laughs> Go we, watch the other videos. Yes, okay? you, you have to. Go to watch the other videos. We still have an email today, so yeah, we're gonna yeah, head out yeah, and go get some food. <laughs> Yes, ASAP. So done. How was it? How was, was, that how, was amazing. How was the day? That was amazing, dude. It's like every day is just like a better and better adventure, you know? Like, and there's just like no shortage of amazing things that we've been doing, you know? Just left Kansai service, and now we are heading to get some gas and get some food and head to the hotel. Finally, get to relax for a little bit. And I think Masa has some plans for us tonight. Yeah. Yep. So, should be fun. But, your face? Your There's your... a Hako in the wild at this parking area that we're stopping for gas. Oh. Oh we kinda... my. We gotta go, we gotta go find oh. it. Yeah. Oh, I'm parking right next to it. It's a GTR. It's a real Hako GTR in the wild. Are you joking me? Because if it's a GTR, they shouldn't come with the... The, the things. Okay, so it's just a GTR rep, like look like I guess, with GTR badges. But as G all GTR badges. Wow. It is. This is amazing. It's a one or car. Look. Yeah. It so doesn't say not. It, it's supposed to have a Nara uh -huh. with a different kanji in the middle, uh -huh. but it doesn't have with. It's just a not. So original. So you can usually tell original owner cars by the numbers right here. So. If it has two numbers, it's been registered for over 30 years, right? Yeah, it's like you can say that. It's like more than 20. To be exact. More, more than 20. Okay, to be more exact. But so cool getting to see one out in the wild. Wow. This is a sign. This is a sign. A million subs has to happen. Yeah. If you're watching this right now and you have not already subscribed, take two seconds out of your day. Scroll down to the bottom. Hit that subscribe yeah, button. Just, make him, just go make him a million, man. <laughs> so, top rank can find us a, a Hako, right? Actually, we do have one. I know you have one. Not every day you get to see an actual Hakolska in the wild in Osaka, Japan. This is crazy. Somebody's also, an R30 just hanging out. What? Three oh. Yeah. oh. Oh, wow. OG brides in here. Vertex arrow. And there's like an S80 80. /80. This is the owner of the R30. <laughs> this is so awesome. Some cool stickers on the back of the. This is Hamilton. This car is exactly Hamilton. It's sick, dude. Imagine this. Imagine your dad owning an R30 Skyline, and that's the car that you get for your first car. That's pretty awesome. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> The owner of the R31 actually watches R30, my R30 actually. Bye bye. Actually watches my videos. Actually like already followed me on Instagram, and that's so crazy that I am literally across the world, and that guy already followed me. We just met up randomly in Osaka. That is crazy. So very very small world in the grand scheme of things, and it's so cool how cars can bring it together. But. Anyways, we're gonna grab some gas and we're gonna head to our next hotel. Don't you think you're gra glad that you're kind of doing this? This is amazing. This is an amazing happy. moment. I mean, think about the story that this car is gonna have when it comes back to the stairs you know? over there. Like this car has been all over Japan with me, you know. So it's it's gonna be so much more. It's gonna mean so much more when this car like finally is able to import to America. We have 
We have made it. Dude, look at this hotel room. This is traditional Dude. Japanese. Do you like it? I love it. It's awesome. So what what is this called again, Masa? So uh, I mean, the, where out uh, where were you at? We're in Kobe. We're in Kobe, uh, but home of Kobe beef, by the way, real Japanese Kobe beef. We're gonna have a Kobe beef, but we're in a place called Arima Onsen, which is like a uh, very well-known, uh, high-status, um, the hot, hot spring district in Japan. Check this out. Check out the view over here. Insane, dude. Kind of reminds me of that time we went to Hokone. So if you guys watched the Japan videos in 2020, this kind of might look familiar. Also, we all get to spoon tonight in our little, a little cups. Masa's in the middle. So what do we got here, dude? This is pretty cool. So we're, we're going to this, uh, we're at San Nomiya right now. We're gonna uh, go into this um, parking sure. facility. But check this out. It's like a, like Tokyo Drift elevator parking. Yeah, but we're gonna go physically inside. Oh. And then I'll press this button. Fourth floor. Right. And we're moving up. <laughs> and then we're in. We're official. That is so sick, dude. Elevator, dude, Japan is on another level, man. Still pretty damn cool. So like I said, we're heading to the restaurant to get some authentic Kobe beef. Kobe goo. Kobe goo. That's 2000. Uh, Masa san, you should need, you should need, Kanbanwa ni, Kanbanwa ni, Han, Gohan, Tali Masho. Kind of, kind of. What did, what did I say? It's like, Good evening, let's eat dinner. Hey, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, cool. well, uh, let's eat dinner together. I said you A5, man. A5 Kobe beef. A5 Kobe beef. Only the best. And it's sick because they cook it right in front of you. These two are our ribeyes. This is our youth. Oh my god, look at that filet, dude. Grand. I love how I love how we have a yes, we should do that. Okay, okay. Junk and junk it. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, okay, ready? Okay, yes. In your Thank you. Uh, all right, well nothing like a really expensive dinner for some kombini. Ice cream. Dude, this ice cream is one of my favorite. Yeah. It's so bum. Ice, oh, so ice, ice cream. Ice cream. What is it, dude? Oh, yeah. Make sure to get all these shots. What is this muscle? Black Thunder. Black Thunder. Black Thunder is like a Snickers for. Oh, I think they usually have it. Here you go, boys. Gochi so sama. Gochi sama de shita. Thank you. Okay, you ready? All right. It looks fun. Come by. Come by. What do you think? Oh, oh so rich. So rich. That's a word. That's a word. Good, right? That's a good setup. Yeah. I think we may go do a little toge run. Sure. 
Well, luckily, I'm gonna hop you guys onto the GoPro and just do a little time lapse. We are at uh, Mount Rocco. Mount Rocco, and this is one of the better toges in Kobe? Yes, sir. You so, are straight left. Yes, exactly. We are going to the perfect. Oh my god, these roads are crazy. So this is uh, my first toge back in Japan ever since we did Hakone. Uh huh. And this is like this is pretty sick. This is a, a bigger, a bigger one, I guess. You're doing great, man. You're yeah. doing great. So we're attacking the mountain roads of Roko. We are now at the the road called Uraroko, which means uh, back Roko. How is it? Uh, how is it, Dustin? Dude, this is. I mean, this is the most intense toge I've ever done. This is real Japan toge. I mean, this is the most intense toge I've ever done. This is real Japan toge. second wait here Woo, that was sick that was nuts because wow. it's in the construction area how is it so far this is legitimately one of the coolest things this entire trip dude like this is real japanese toge so masa showed us this really awesome mountain and the mountains of kobe um and we're doing our first toge run we got albo behind us in the s2000 and uh we're gonna have some fun tonight enjoyed the GoPro footage with uh, Masa's guidance on this toge. This is insane. This is this is what I love, dude. Like this is this is like pinnacle car life to me. This is pinnacle JDM car life to me, dude. We're in Japan. We're in Kobe, the mountains of Kobe, in my R34 GTR doing a toge run with two of my best friends. We got Abo in the back in his S2000. Like I'm doing a co-driver cool right now, right? You are doing a co- you're, you're a great co-driver, by the way. Yeah. What did you think about the toge? It was sick. That was amazing. Oh, man. That was so much fun. That was literally real life initial D. Uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I was telling him. Dude. This is what it's all about. This is it. God, man. man, I haven't heard thunder in years. That was a pretty badass thunder. That was a pretty Fuji and Ragnar Rats. This, this is like the ultimate JDM night, dude. Ooh. Oh. oh. Dude, it was so sick as we were going up, you could see the lightning just flashing below us. Below us. Whoa. So this is it. Gotcha. It's worth coming. Holy. Wow. This is a view. So this oh, is Kobe? Oh my god. Oh wow. That's so gay. Oh, Doja. You're right. It's worth it. You're right. But we gotta go. Well, this is this is what we get for coming up the mountain. Dude, somehow, somehow this is awesome. This is somehow this is awesome. This is a massive toge run, and now there's a massive thunderstorm. Yep. As we get to the top of the mountain, so we went to a, we went to like a lookout vantage point kind of thing. It's really awesome, and then just decided to downpour. So the skies opened up, and suddenly it's like it's pretty cool. awesome though. We, uh, we made it back after our, our downpour toge adventure, which was super amazing. But it's late, we're going to sleep. We have another long day tomorrow. We're gonna to visit Osaka and start heading back down to Tokyo 
for a really awesome week. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already, please hit that like button. Leave us a hashtag made it to the end and make sure to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> make sure to subscribe. Mata mitene. Ja, mata mitene. Oh,